Dan Snyder, owner of the Washington Commanders, donates to charity and saves kittens. <laughs> okay, well, not really. Hey everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider possibly subscribing to this channel as I try to put out content as frequently as daily at times. Maybe not always, but I try to. And um, also forgive me for the lack of a professional um, <laughs> studio but right now this is the best I can do because we're kind of in between houses with all of that said excuses out of the way let's get into today's video shall we so today we're talking about the ongoing saga of Daniel Snyder so in the latest involving Daniel Snyder and the Washington Commander scandals let's add another controversy shall we uh, it was reported from A.J. Perez from the Front Office Sports. Uh, I saw this on Twitter the other night. It appears that the House Oversight Committee has obtained information that suggests that the Washington Commanders have withheld 40 per, the 40 for, per, per, ugh, the 40 percent of ticket profits that are supposed to go back into the NFL that is distribute to the visiting teams each time that, of course. Washington plays their opponents at home. The home team gets 60%. The visiting team gets 40%. Supposedly, allegedly, the home team has been keeping that 40% of that profit. So keeping 100% of that profit. And so this report, of course, it comes after it was uh, reported earlier that it was discovered that there could possibly be uh, some other financial and prop and properties. <laughs> How did they put it? Um, I don't know. I can't remember the word exactly, but basically, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing when it comes to finances. There, there could be some cooking of the books. Uh, two financial books, one book to show profit, the other book to show loss whenever they need to show a loss. Um, and so, of course, this is just another piece of information that's coming out that is alleging that Snyder's up to no good. Um, so, and this, of course, is ongoing along with the sex scandals, right? And meanwhile, we have... Roger Goodell that continues to state that Daniel Snyder is indefinitely suspended from day-to-day -day activities uh, for day-to-day -day operations with Washington Commanders even though there was a Washington Post uh, or Washington Times I forget which one it was that has reported otherwise that has said no Roger Goodell is wrong Daniel Snyder has pretty much regained his day-to-day -day operations and has been at Ashburn has been very much in control in the last however long so that all of that has been untrue now if that's the case what is Roger Goodell doing about that so far I don't think he's been doing anything um, so if that is true <laughs> Is, is Roger Goodell just going to turn a blind eye toward all this? And if things start to get exposed with Dan Snyder, it's in turn going to start probably exposing a lot with the NFL. And could this actually open up Pandora's box? Now, if there's any shred of accuracy to any of these facts involving the latest information, involving these finances, of course, the sexual allegations and all this, then basically the finances, this is a huge game changer as we all have been probably hearing from the media pundits uh, when it comes to Daniel Snyder's ownership. I mean, you know, Lord forbid, you know, he can go out and he can sexually harass women, you know, allegedly and he can get away with that and that's fine the NFL will continue to cover all of that up 
you know, till the cows come home. But, you know, Lord forbid you start messing with other billionaires' money and then, oh, no, we can't have that. No, 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 we can't have that. We got to put a stop to that because now we're dealing with something much more important than someone's, you know, um, freedom of not being sexually abused, and that's money. I mean, that's that's the message that I'm getting from this. I don't know what you guys are getting from it. That's what I'm getting. And so that could be what actually gets Daniel Snyder ousted. And, you know, I mean, it, it's a sad fact, but, you know, for us Washington fans, I mean, at, for us it's at whatever cost necessary. Now, I mean... For me, yeah, I, I think that sexual allegations is, is more than enough. You know, even if there's a hint of it, then, you know, he should be removed because no no man in, well, no man at all, but no man in a sense of power and ownership like Daniel Snyder has should even be tied to any hint of sexual allegations whatsoever. And just the simple fact that what had been uncovered before that turned out to be true, like with the, the videotaping of the uh, cheerleaders and all that stuff, even though that supposedly that was not directly tied back to Daniel Snyder, having all of that going on under your roof, that should have been enough for Daniel Snyder to have been like, mm -mm, you know, I'm out. Um... I mean, honestly, but, you know, it's water under the bridge at this point on that one. Um, but, you know, for us fans, it is, you know, at what cost necessary to get Daniel Snyder out. Now, you know, the other thing that A.J. Perez did note, and I noticed this in one of his tweets on another thread, was, you know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation that all of this information is being leaked from Bruce Allen, you know, because of course this all ties back to John Gruden getting fired and it was Bruce Allen who was tied to leaking or allegedly it was Bruce Allen because there were emails being emailed to Bruce Allen and all this stuff, you know, a lot of these racist uh, emails and stuff like that from John Gruden and so certainly, you know, the thought process is is Bruce Allen who is now retali retaliating against uh, Dan Snyder, so he's starting to leak all this information. But A.J. Perez is saying that's actually not true. He has a very reliable source as within the Bruce Allen camp that said that actually nobody within the Allen family has had anything to do with the release of any of this information. Uh, so, you know... <laughs> I mean, I'm passing that information along, so we have to say, okay, if that's true, then who is leaking this information? Is it somebody within the organization? Could it be Jason Wright himself? I mean, who knows? Who knows? Um, I would say there is somebody probably within the organization that wants Snyder out at all costs. And, you know, it's also been said that uh, Jason Wright was... Um, <clears throat> kind of placed uh, within the Washington organization by the NFL, and it wasn't necessarily directly hired uh, by Dan Snyder. Now, if that's true, could this also be that part of Wright's job is to also, you know, figure out what's going on within the organization? I mean, who knows? Could be. It could possibly be. Um, you know, personally, I, I don't know how that Daniel Snyder can actually survive the onslaught of these attacks from the media, from Congress. I mean, they have been hot on him, you know, for a hot minute. I mean, <clears throat> at this point, if I was Dan Snyder, I mean, I, I would say enough is enough. You know, it's not worth it at this point. Let me just sell the team. I'll... You know, I'll take all my money, I'll live on my yacht for the rest of my days and be happy. But, you know, I've, I've also heard it too that when you're a billionaire, money is not the most important thing to you. It's power. And so right now, I think that's the thing that he's trying to hold on to is the power. And that is where he's starting to lose control 
or that's where he's trying to fight to, to stay in control. And, um, you know, so us poor people can't think of that, you know. I'm thinking, hey, cut, cut your losses, you know, go root for the team far away, uh, just go far away. And um, so I don't, I don't know, but I'm just thinking that we're going to keep hearing more and more. There's going to be bits and pieces of more that's going to be released probably each and every week. And who knows what else is going to come out. There's a lot of alleged stuff against Dan Snyder and you know the ball's going to be in his court to prove otherwise and honestly at this point I think if there is enough information if it's just alleged information I'm not even sure if it all has to even be proven at this point point. if it's such a different amount of information especially when it starts to come down to finances and it starts to affect the league it starts to affect the other owners and their pocketbooks that's it daniel steiner is out i mean that that is just all it is to it i don't know how he survives that if he does then you know for us washington fans we might as well either look for another team or just grin and bear it because steiner will be here to stay there is no way if he survives all of this and remains the owner of the washington commanders then you might as well forget it there will be nothing else that Snyder will ever be able, or nothing else that will ever be able to get Snyder out of that ownership box ever again, because I feel like all of this stuff will be enough to get him out. And if it's not, he will never be removed. Um, so let's see what happens, folks. I really think that something's going to happen uh, pretty soon. Um, right now, I don't think Congress is going to stop. I think the only thing that might ha actually help is if this lasts until we get to the midterm elections and a lot of the Democrats are voted out and then the oversight committee is taken or committee is taken over by the Republicans uh, because right now this is a Democrat led um, oversight committee and they're going after Daniel Snyder like crazy. And right now, the Republicans would back away from Dan Snyder and they really think this is a waste of taxpayer money and so they are willing to let it go and feel like you know this is something NFL needs to take care of so you know that is what Dan Snyder may be hoping for is that uh, this can be stretched out until the midterm elections and then at that point you may feel like things are good. You know, we can get to that point. We're good. There's only a few months, right, folks? We get to November, and if Snyder survives at that point, he may be fine. So uh, I really feel like if we're going to get him out, we need to get him out now. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, is Washington cooking the books? Uh, is Daniel Snyder keeping all that money? And when is he going to get Put out folks or do you think he even needs to get put out believe it or not there are some people who actually think he's still doing a good job so let me know in the comment section folks you have a great day and i will see you in the next one